I'm Dominic Genoa, I'm the Marketing and Events Manager for the Boating Industry Association. The Boating Industry Association owns and operates and runs uh, both the Rose Hill Gardens Trailer Boat Show and the Sydney International Boat Show. The Rose Hill Trailer Boat Show is actually one of our oldest shows. Uh, it's been in this location here at Rose Hill since uh, 2002, but its origins start at Silverwater Park and it's in fact our oldest show. Uh, our records show that it started around uh, the early 1960s, 1962, 1963. Trailer boating um, is the largest category of boating in Australia. Um, around 90%, 92% of all vessels uh, are on a trailer. They're less than 8 metres long and uh, they're trailable. This show caters specifically for that market. In years gone by, manufacturers were making boating specifically for a purpose. And what we're seeing and have seen over the last uh, number of years is this increasing trend of manufacturers making the boating family friendly. So the whole family could go out. So dad who's looking at buying his boat or mum that's looking at buying her boat can use it for their specific fishing activity or water skiing activity but also have the multi-purpose of being able to take that same boat out with the family for a family day out. People are saying, I want to participate in boating, but I'm not sure how. What can I do to try boating? So therefore, boat share is an option. Kayaking is an option. Try sailing is an option. And those things are there because the demand is there. You know, there are over 240,000 registered boats in New South Wales, and there's 450,000 boat license holders. And we can see the trends continue that it's increasing, and it's good for recreational boating. People are recognising we've got the most beautiful waterways and harbours in the world and people are taking advantage of that. We have uh, a number of other events. Uh, we have an event that's really popular now called Tri Sailing Day. Tri Sailing Day this year will be in its 13th or 14th year. It runs early in November every year and we get involved with about 25 or 30 sailing and yachting clubs around New South Wales. And what they do is basically open their doors to recreational uh, boaters that are looking to try sailing for the first time. It's targeted at children and um, whilst um, uh, the children are our main focus, the doors are open to in fact everybody. We also uh, have Tri Crewing Day. Tri Crewing Day is for a slightly different target audience, um, you know, over 18s, where sailing clubs are calling out and saying, you know, we have a lot of boats going out into the harbour, um, but they don't have crew. And in this instance, what we do is we match uh, boats with people who wanting to crew. We give them a bit of a, an understanding of what crewing is about. And if they like it, they can participate more actively in the, in the marketplace. And this year, we'll probably launch a new product. And we're going to call that Tri Boating Day. And that's for trailer boating. And we'll have numerous locations where people who are wondering about boating can actually show up and, uh, and give it a go. But if anyone is interested in any of those specific three products, they could certainly just keep an eye on our website, which is bia.org.au. And we always maintain that website to give people updates of what's coming up, what dates, the calendar of events, the locations of these activities. Sydney International Boat Show is the next big one and our main one. Uh, this year will be the 44th year the show is run. We've got some fantastic surprises. We're not going to announce them yet, but our website, sydneyboatshow.com.au, will give you a bit of a preview of what we're going to have. Hi, I'm Adam from Sydney Boating and uh, we offer what is essentially the best way to go boating in a, a membership program. Uh, Pacific Boating is a walk-on, walk-off boating exercise where you come down, take the boats out, have a great time without any of the hassles of owning the boats. We look after the cleaning, fueling, you just get out there and have a great time with your friends and families. We currently have a fleet of 10 sports cruisers based in the harbour and pit water, ranging from 29 foot through to 44 foot. Our most popular membership would be probably a full week membership and around 37 class. For retirees, midweek memberships work really well. Uh, other people, corporates also midweeks, but local families want to go fishing with friends on the weekend, get out there on a membership. I'm Sandra Barber from Dock Pro. We're Australian distributors for CPAN Advanced Dry Docking Technology, which is, we've got a demo here, as well as CANDOC Modular Floating Systems. Uh, with the CPAN, it's an Australian product, it's actually manufactured in Australia, it's an Australian invention and we hold, it's a patented technology. The unit that we have here on demo today is our gate unit, which we would supply for uh, people with boats that are either outboards or stern drives. If you've got a shaft or a keel or a catamaran, we actually sink the whole frame of the sea pen below the boat, allowing you to drive in and out. 
to give you a little demonstration of this gate unit, I'm going to open up this red valve on the side of the seat head, this back section, which is hinged to the front. That will sink down, allowing the um, seat hinge to broach and flood it with water. Once that happens, you're right to put your motors down and reverse your boat out. The process takes less than two minutes and you're all ready to go. To put the back gate back up, we just put air into the frame. While this is happening, you can hop on and off your boat, use your boat at any time. Once it's in the up position, what we've done is created an isolated swimming pool that the boat's floating in. At the very front of the sea pen in the deepest part is a bilge pump, which we're about to turn on, and that will drain all the water that's in here out. So what we basically do is keep the boat at water level, but put a membrane that separates the water from the hull of the boat. So you never ever need to anti-fail your boat. Yeah, sea pen has just been recognised as one of the top 10 technologies in the world for the elimination of anti-fouling. That recognition came from an institute called the Jugralius Institute in Scandinavia. They were instrumental in helping to reduce the amount of toxins in anti-fouling. Now the next step is to try and find technologies that will eliminate the need for anti-fouling, which obviously has a major impact on the environment. And the CPAN has been nominated as one of the top 10 technologies to do that. So we're really very proud of that. My name's Terry Wise, uh, Pacific Sailing School. We've been operating for 32 years. We're here at the Rose Hill Boat Show. We're offering today try sailing lessons. It's a new way that Yachting Australia, through the sailing schools, uh, will uh, introduce people to our sport. As you can see for the little opties, we're getting five to 14 year olds into opties to learn to sail. Uh, we've got our J24s here for adults, and uh, it's a good way for people to meet new people, um, particularly if you're new in town. And it's a great sport to take up, and it's not expensive, and it's easy to do. And you can get crewing on yachts just by doing a couple of courses. For every person that owns a yacht, they need a bank of 10 or 20 people that really know about sailing. And in two or three courses, you've got that knowledge. We're a Royal Yachting uh, Association school, so we can actually give you the international qualifications. And it's just simply a, a matter of doing a five-day RYA day skipper course, which gives you what's called an international certificate of competence. And you can go and hire yachts around the world. In Australia, in the Whitsundays, uh, Whitsunday Rent Yacht, uh, our uh, partner, you only need a couple of courses, our Bear Boat Charter course, which is a two-day course on our bigger yachts. And uh, literally, you can go to the Whitsundays and hire a yacht. We're based at the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia, uh, the home of the uh, uh, Sydney Hobart Yacht Race. And we're also involved in the safety and sea survival uh, courses that we run for the people participating in the Sydney Hobart. Uh, we also do radio licenses, powerboat licenses, but our primary thing is to try and get people to have more fun. Hi, I'm Leah from Premier Marine out at the Rose Hill Race Course. This is day two out of the two days it's been pretty cool. We've just opened, so hopefully it'll be another big day. Um, we've got our Regal 2100, which is on display. That's one of our special boats, probably our biggest seller in the range. Um, Literally, this boat has been built with a new lighter composite material. So it makes this boat the lightest, quickest and strongest 21 footer ever built. It's more like a 23 foot in the cockpit. So you're getting a lot of boat for your money. Hopefully everyone will come down and have a look at the boats. So. Hi, my name is Jim from A&J Outboards. Uh, on, the, on the left here we've got Peter and uh, Chris, uh, a sales team at um, A&J Outboards. Uh, this is 2011 Roseville Boat Show. Um, and uh, so far it's been a nice weekend. Uh, at the moment we're selling carabines, um, uh, CJs and um, we've got a few other crafts at the back there. We've got um, the best product, we've got Aussie made boats, uh, Mercury motors, just the best, great warranty and um, a good team that puts the whole package together. Okay, Gavin from Aussie Marine, we're at the Rose Hill 2011 boat show. We supply trailers to aluminium and five glass boats. Aluminium titties from 2.1 litres up to 4.5 litres and the outboards the suit. Whatever suit your needs, carpeted skids for the jet skis, loading racks, double jet ski trailers, car trailers, box trailers, all types of trailers up to two tonne. My name is Greg Searle, I'm a marine radio operator with Marine Rescue New South Wales. Uh, marine Rescue New South Wales is a recent amalgamation of the Volunteer Coaster Patrol, the Volunteer Coast Guard and the Volunteer Rescue Association in New South Wales. We have about 3,000 members, about 50-odd bases up and down the coast. Uh, 
Most of the bases are equipped with rescue vessels that uh, assist people who get into trouble on the water. Uh, we also broadcast weather reports and warnings. Uh, we we'll take details for logging vessels on uh, if they're making passages up and down the coast. We have marine radio courses, navigation courses. We also assist uh, harbour authorities uh, in events like uh, New Year's Eve and Australia Day. So it's a volunteer activity and uh, we get a lot of satisfaction out of it. Normally the commitment is uh, something like one weekend a month, uh, monthly meetings, uh, some, perhaps some radio duty and uh, attending uh, boat shows and promoting uh, the rescue organisation. We are a deductible gift recipient organisation. Uh, people that we help on the water also uh, offer some um, uh, donation to cover the cost of our uh, uh, rescue uh, efforts.